Let's start the poem. R. Kashrina Tree, author Thorudet. About the author, a Bengal poetess from Indian subcontinent. Her collection of poems are entitled as Ancient Ballads and Legends of Hindustan. About the poem. In this poem, the Thorudet celebrates the majesty of the Kashrina Tree. She remembers her happy childhood days under the tree and revives her Memories with her beloved siblings. The first stanza of our Kashrina tree begins with the image of tree. The tree be being wound by a creeper like a python. The creeper's cold was too tight and had left the scar on the rugged trunk. The rugged trunk referred to its old age. The poet further states that no other tree would have sustained this cold, but her Kashrina tree is too strong. The giant, the Kashrina tree has proudly owned those scars like a scarf, representing the strength. Describe its strength, the poet says. It is filled with crimson flowers, that is reddish orange flowers in every bough, like a crown that invited birds and bees. The second stanza of our Kashrina tree. The poet experiences of dawn which delighted every morning as she opened her window, her eyes rested on the tree. Sometimes during other season and mostly during winter. She has seen a grey baboon sitting on the top branch like a statue watching the sunrise. Whereas his puny Offspring plays around in the lower branch of the tree. Along with this beauty scenery, the poet also experienced the Kohila's welcoming note for that day. Kohila's the bird quail. She has also observed the cows guiding towards the pasture and the water lily springs under the shadow of the hoar tree like gathered snow. The third stanza, the poet turns more subjective in the memory associated with the tree. She explains why the tree will remain dearer to her always. The tree reminds her the time she played with her siblings. The tree blended with the memory of them, gives her the image of intense love they shared, leaving the poet in the tears. The poet mourns for those departed souls as she thinks down the memory lane. She imagines the tree shares which she hears as a dirge like murmur resembling the waves breaking on the bubble beach. The fourth stanza, the poet presents an in-depth connection with the tree. Unknown yet well known refers that she had prolonged cry towards India as it was far away from her place, as she refers France or Italy. Waves gently kiss the classic shore. Whenever the waves rises, it arouses the memory of the tree in front of the poet's eyes as she has seen in her youth. The final stanza, the poet wants to erect something in the honor of the Kashrina tree for those who were beloved by her, who are resting in peace, loved it. She wants the tree to live long, like those trees of Barodale, making a reference to Wordsworth yew trees. She makes an attempt to distinguish the tree of England from the Kashrina tree, connecting to her emotions. The Kashrina tree stands for nostalgia, longing and memory. The final lines of the poem had given the idea of the poem as a written memory. The tree being remembered out of love and not because it cannot be forgotten. Thank you.